Hey, it's Jake Wizard 4 once again here at Faraday Studios, home of Midnight Science Club, but we're also home of the WITS, Wizards in Training. So I'm just gonna do an exercise with them and torment them a little bit. So gentlemen, I went over to the storage cabinet and I pulled this thing out. What, some licorice? Wholesale licorice. Wholesale licorice. Actually, this is dental floss for an elephant. 500 feet of it. It's kind of a rare thing, but I'm a wizard and I had it and it was locked up. Wait. Oh, the fuse. Oh, that's where that smell was coming <laughs> from. That's fuse. Yeah, you recognize the smell now? Firecrackers. It smells like firecrackers. <laughs> there we go. It's been a while. That's 500 feet of fuse. Trouble is, and I, we use fuse all the time, but the label came off of this. Fuses burn at different rates. Can you see why it would be important to know? Yeah, you need to know when to run. You need to know when to run and then run real fast. We've got to figure out a way to determine the burning rate of this. So that's what I'm going to have you guys do. Oh, we need to protect the table. If we're going to be light and fuse, we ought to do it on something. What else would you need? You got a ruler, you got a sample of the fuse. This is some serious stuff. To show you how important this is, I'm going to give you the fine milled French paper. French? Yeah, this is the good French. stuff. Typically, uh, fuse rates in seconds per foot. If this was 50 second fuse, that would mean it would burn 50 seconds. If it was five second fuse, it would take uh, five seconds to burn a foot. But I don't know how fast this is. So you've got an eight inch piece of fuse there. So what are you gonna do? I am going to burn the fuse mm -hmm. to see how fast it will burn seconds per foot. So you what, you got five inches? Yep. Okay. Now light is match first. Three, two, one, go. There you go. I don't know. Is this a fast fuse or a slow fuse? Slow. I don't know. So you're already, know. You're already 15 seconds. And it's out. There you go. Pretty much 27. We'll use 27. 26.95. So. 26.9. Is that pretty much? Is that what pretty much means? Five hundredths off of seven. Oh, okay. Remember that. Put that on the wall. Five hundredths of a second is pretty much. Okay. You ready to do yours? Sure. Okay. Here you go. There it goes. Basically 17. 17. Pretty much. Pretty much. 16.88. <laughs> By your calculation, you sit there and look at those numbers. Tell me how long is it going to take to burn a foot? I'm going to cut a foot. You calculate that I think this fuse should be rated at how many seconds per foot? And then we'll do a test. So there's a foot. There's a foot of fuse. It sounds like a good name for a country western song, doesn't it? Foot, foot of fuse. I don't know. You say the word go whenever it starts fizzing. Go. You aimed that right at me. Well, it was like that. that. You put it there. Oh, did I? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. 41. 41. So if we rounded that to something, what would it be? 40 seconds per foot. What did you come up with? 30.8. 30.8, and what did you come up with? He got 64, and you got... 31. 31. Now you know why scientists do many tests. And you know what I thought this was? I thought this was 30 second fuse. Yeah, I couldn't remember, but I think this is rated at 30 second fuse. So it looks like we're gonna be running some more tests. Well, let's measure out another foot and do it again while we're leaving. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, we're gonna run another foot. You ready? You fire that thing up, and I'll hit the start button when it starts to spit. Yeah. This is probably not 30 second fuse, is it? Probably 40 second fuse. Probably. But I would suggest. I bet that the metal was slowing it down yeah. a couple seconds. Speed. Yeah. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the magic marker out. What should I write on here? Well, we can always change it if I. 40, 40 second, second fuse. Okay. 